April 24th. The Warning Against Wantoning Notwithstanding in this rejoice not, that the spirits are subject unto you. Luke 10.20 As Christian workers, worldliness is not our snare, sin is not our snare, but spiritual wantoning is. Taking the pattern and print of the religious age we live in, making eyes at spiritual success, never court anything other than the approval of God, Go without the camp, bearing his reproach. Jesus told the disciples not to rejoice in successful service, and yet this seems to be the one thing in which most of us do rejoice. We have the commercial view. So many souls saved and sanctified. Thank God. Now it is all right. Our work begins where God's grace has laid the foundation. We are not to save souls, but to disciple them. Salvation and sanctification are the work of God's sovereign grace. Our work as his disciples is to disciple lives until they are wholly yielded to God. One life wholly devoted to God is of more value to God than one hundred lives simply awakened by his Spirit. As workers for God, we must reproduce our own kind spiritually, and that will be God's witness to us as workers. God brings us to a standard of life by his grace, and we are responsible for reproducing that standard in others. Unless the worker lives a life hidden within Christ, in God, he is apt to become an irritating dictator instead of an indwelling disciple. Many of us are dictators. We dictate to people and to meetings. Jesus never dictates to us in that way. Whenever our Lord talked about discipleship, he always prefaced it with an if, never with an emphatic assertion. You must. Discipleship carries an option with it.